Hello my friends and welcome back to Zyka's Kitchen. Uh, I've come down to Ballina to visit my sister, brother-in-law and the two kids. Uh, yesterday afternoon we'll discuss what we're going to do for dinner. So Ash had some silver cider in the fridge. So we thought we'd go a bit old school. We lit the fire pit. We got the silver cider into the camp oven. And man, it was quite delicious. Here's the video on how it all went yesterday afternoon. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And if you are enjoying the content, please feel free to subscribe. But check this out for a view before we uh, head into that. Good morning. Jagged metronome of typewriter keys. A simple thought brings you. And I'm thankful every day I'm so glad I found you the old-fashioned way In a time when we want it all Everything so fast Write a text, no time to call Slow down, oh, I pray I'm so glad I found you the old-fashioned way Metronome of typewriter keys Another page done My soul at ease And I'm thankful every day I'm so glad I found you The old-fashioned way Okay, time to get cooking our campfire silver side. So, got my uh, camp oven here. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna get some parsley stalks, put them in the base, some bay leaves, 
and one bunch of thyme, put that in the bottom of the pot. So that's all ready. Hey boys. Hello. <laughs> how are we? Good. Come over here, Harry, say hello. Hello. Harry. <laughs> My name's Jaden and this is Jaden. Come over here, quick. His this name's Harry and my name's Jane. <laughs> All right, so we've got we our <laughs> we've got our parsley stalks in here. We've got our thyme. We're gonna put our silver side in here, like that. I've already got that fire going. It looks awesome. It's nothing like a campfire. Uh, we didn't got it in the fire pit. Uh, I've got some. Garlic cloves here, I've got seven. I'm just gonna cut them in half and get those guys put in around that. Some onions, roughly chops. What these guys will do is they'll create their own little stock and add that beautiful flavor through the meat as it slowly cooks. Get that in there, around. Our carrots. I'm not gonna worry about peeling these guys. I like that earthiness that, uh, you know, when you're camping, Three carrots. Okay, and then I'm gonna put two tablespoons of brown sugar. Like that. Then some apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna suggest about maybe a cup and a half, two cups in there. Like that. I've got some uh, vegetable stock here that's gonna go in there. It's just gonna enhance the flavor again as well. Then I'm gonna to top that up with water. Okay, so I've just seasoned this up. Now, to get it onto the, uh, into the fire pit. Couple of hours in there. See how she turns out. Press it once. I'll press it once and, and then, then hold, hold it. Yeah. No jokes all over on the floor. Is he alright? Okay. It's so funny that you said. Mavicare too. Hey, oh, oh, hey, don't say that, Harry. That scared the heck out of me. What? The Ready? giant grasshopper. Yep. Got that drone? Oh, 
the one Daddy wants. What's the baby? And the timber delivery has arrived. <laughs> Looks like the second load of timbers rolling in. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. What are you putting on? Foot. Garlic. Garlic, salt, pepper, butter. Avocado. What do you reckon, Ash? Cooking runs in the family? <laughs> Oh, and what have you done to yourself? Yeah, broke the leg, mate. Should be right. Ooh. Time to get these to the kitchen. Okay, so Ash is a bit nervous about the camera for some reason. <laughs> So we're going to get these potatoes out. What did you put in these, Ash? Salt, pepper, garlic, oh. butter. Stop <laughs> That's so good, eh? Stop it. Salt, pepper, garlic, butter. That's it. We've chucked them on the fire pit uh, around the coals with the um, silver side. What else have you made up on the side, Ash? Steamed broccoli and cauliflower and honey butter carrots and white sauce. Oh, that was honey all. butter carrots. That was all behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all behind the scenes. Okay, so a bit of milk. Okay, then we're gonna mash these guys. Try this. Salt, pepper, just a bit of fresh parsley. Try that again. Pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. All right, check that out. That is from the fire Camp, pit. Campfire spuds. Yeah. Sm smashed spuds from the fire pit. Now, I really want to see how this silver side has turned out. What do you reckon, Dan? Looks so far. Oh, good. So looking good. That's it there. It's a, it's a big silver side, eh? It is a big silver side. Okay, so we'll get mm. rid of this guy. How long was that on for? Three and a half. I think three and a half hours. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> get rid of all those herbs. <laughs> it's that? sucking it up. <laughs> and I've had it resting here for about. 10 minutes or so. 
what I'll do is, I'm just going to carve this off here. <laughs> Good? <laughs> here. Yeah? You try it. You try it. Hang on one sec. Let me get this shot. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Oh. Oh my god. Is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that alright? That is really, really good. Alright, let's have uh, practice. That is really, really good. The smokiness, too. Yeah. I didn't even know you could cook it on a campfire. Really nice. Yeah, yeah happy. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh. A little bit of a uh, little cook up on the old um, fire pit yeah. with the boys. Meant, meant to just keep you warm. <laughs> keep this warm and cook this dinner. Had a few beers by the campfire. Let's get this guy set up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how she plates up. The kids are going to love that. White sauce made by Ash. Perfecto. Are you happy with the consistency and the flavour? Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh. Hello. Hello. You excited about dinner? Yeah. Old school way of cooking, but to do it on a fire pit makes it so much better. There's a beautiful smoky flavor going through that. But we just gotta see how it goes with the young ones. Good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm. Thumbs up. Would you eat it again? <laughs> 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 well, enjoy your dinner. <laughs> well, let me tell you, that dinner was so tasty. I can't wait till our next cook up, which will probably be tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time at Zyka's Kitchen.